Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a couple of days since I posted a video, but I'm back, back, and I'm better, you guys. I've just been really, really busy with work. Um, so today I'm gonna show you guys how I did this glow in the dark Chanel set. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when she told me she wanted white, I'm like, girl, white, you sure you want white? But it came out really, really cute, simple, cute, you know, and that shit glow. So as always, the first thing you want to do when you're starting a full set of nails, you want to go ahead and push your client's cuticles back and expose all that dead skin. Um, me personally, I don't use them nippers. I'm very terrified of using nippers because if anybody out there is like me, um, I'm very jumpy. Like my nerves, I got really bad nerves and stuff like that. So I don't do the nippers, baby. I go in with a cuticle bit, cuticle ball bit. And I just run that along the cuticles. I run it on the skin. And I also take off that dead skin that was exposed when I push your cuticles back. Um, it's just what I prefer. I know some people do use nippers. Um, like you want a cookie, like what you want. But me personally, yeah, I don't do it. But right after I go on with my cuticle ball bit, I'm just going to go in with my mandrel bit with a fine grit standing band. And I'm just going to remove all the shine off her nails. And when you're doing this step, you guys have your file, your e-file at the lowest speed possible because, you know, you don't want to damage your client's natural nail. All you want to do is just get rid of that shine so, you know, you don't have any lifting because, you know, you, your nails do produce natural oils and that can cause lifting. So, just make sure you go in and you remove that shine before you go in with any type of acrylic or anything like that. Um, then, I'm going to glue my tips on off camera because... Y'all don't want to watch me sit there, struggle to find the size, fit them. Y'all know how to apply some nail tips, y'all. Just make sure it fits sidewall to sidewall. And if you're ever in between sizes, always go with the bigger size and cut it down so it fits perfectly. If it's too small, it's going to cause lifting, you guys. That shit is going to pop right back up. You don't want to have to force the nail down for it to fit sidewall to sidewall. It should just naturally fall into place. So just always go with the bigger size and just trim the size down if needed. Right here, I'm going in with my dehydrator from Model 1's, my Young Nails Protein Bond, and also my No Lift Nail Primers. I know I use the Not Polish um, Nail Art Brush to apply my No Lift Nail Primer. That's because, you know, when you buy the No Lift Nail Primer, it doesn't have like an applicator brush attached to the cap of the bottle. The brush is separate, and I lost it. I don't know where it's at. So I'm probably just going to end up ordering another one off Amazon. That's just like $20, but it's really good. I would definitely highly recommend you guys invest in the No Lift Nail Primers. And it lasts a long time, you guys. So, beginning my acrylic application, what I do, I do this on every set. I um, And even if I'm not using like a very pigmented color where it can stain the client's nails, I still go in with a clear bead on her nails. So that's what I did. I went in with a small clear bead on all the fingers and that's the first thing I do. And then I'm going to be using this glow in the dark powder and this is from Dynamic Nail Supply. You guys can't be surprised because I use them all the time. Um, and this color is called White to Pink. It's in their glow collection and it's just that shit. When I say it light up the room, it light up the room. So I'm just going to go ahead and you know a basic acrylic application nothing to it and i'm getting a lot better with laying my acrylic y'all like y'all can't tell me nothing at this point well yes y'all can because i still got a lot of learning to do but at the same time y'all i'm feeling myself because this set came out really really cute
you guys know when y'all are going with some full white set y'all gotta add that smoky nail like the smoky nail is just like that little razzle dazzle the cherry on top y'all the icing on the cake the the I don't know but it just give it that little the, what you need it give it what it need you guys I just want to pop in real quick I know I pop in a lot and I do a lot of popping in and I do a lot of talking but that's okay um I just want to say thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers I know it may not seem like a lot to some people but to me that's a huge accomplishment that's like a milestone in like my YouTube content creator career you guys like I was so hyped when I got that email saying oh you don't hit 300 subscribers Ooh, fireworks fireworks and also I'm almost at like 20,000 views like that's crazy like 20,000 views I feel like by now like y'all should be and a lot of people watch my videos a lot of people that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel so it's like what are you doing like what are you doing like thank you for the views and all that but subscribe to your girl because why not like why wouldn't you want to After I'm finished um, with all the fingers, well not all the fingers, when I'm finished with one hand, I'm going to go in with my Claire and I do use the Claire from Mia Secret. I'm going to go in, I'm going to encapsulate all these nails. I know you're probably wondering, girl, the nails is thin as hell. Yes, baby, I know that's because I go in with my Claire acrylic and I build up my apex and I build up the structure that the nails need so them bitches not popping off left to right. Yes, I do that with my Claire. Let me know down in the comments below, is it just me, but encapsulating the nails is so satisfying to me. And then when you get to like the filing process, when you're done with everything and you're filing the nails and then you see that shape poke through and it's like, yes, this like, why well, can't be like that with my diet? Like I just eat me a broccoli and then a bitch waste is snatched and stuff. But what's your favorite part of doing nails? Like it's the filing, the encapsulating, the nail art, the bling, the... Just let me know because I'm curious. And this is the other hand, you guys. Um, I know I didn't show it, but I did um, add a small clear bead to her natural nails. And I also dehydrated and primed the nail off camera. And when I dehydrate and prime my nails, I do it one hand at a time. Um, when I encapsulate this hand, I also did that part off camera. Just for the simple fact that you saw it on the first hand. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see it for a second time. Because it's very repetitive. It's the same thing. Um... And I'm going to come back after I'm finished laying the acrylic on this hand.
and I think I'm getting a lot better when it comes to keeping my shape as I'm laying my acrylic it's it's not I'm not gonna say it's super hard but it's also not something easy especially for a beginner like myself um, I'm also getting a lot better when it comes to cuticle like I don't flood the cuticles as much as I used to you guys I'm just slowly 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 progressing Now going in with my 5-in-1 drill bit, I'm going to seal the cuticles found underneath the nail and also clean up the sides so when I go with my hand file, I don't have a lot of shaping to do. Um, this is my favorite part, guys. This is my favorite part. And if you have not already, I would definitely recommend you guys go invest in a 5-in-1 drill bit. It's like $10, $12. Very inexpensive. Um, especially you know you want to pay for stuff that is gonna benefit you like when i say this drill bit right here is gonna just save your life this drill bit is the only drill bit i use when it comes to sealing my cuticles or anything for that matter Now using my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file, this is a 100 grit nail file. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shape up, crisp up the sides and the free edge of the nails even more. Like it's going to look, do you see that pinky finger already? Like it's definitely giving what it's supposed to give. I'm going to go ahead and file all these nails. And also, if I feel like I need to, I'm also going to file the surface of the nail. But this application, it was pretty smooth for the most part. So, yes, I'm very proud of myself. I literally did minimal filing, you know, in this set. So, do you guys see the shape? Okay, anywho, I'm going to just finish filing these nails up. And then I'm going to go on with some, um, you know, little pixie crystals and whatnot.
And like I always say when it comes to the filing process, if this is your first time watching any of my videos, I'm just going to repeat it. Um, when you're filing, just make sure you alternate from side to side. You don't stay on one side for too long because then your nails is going to come out uneven and it's just not going to look good. So just make sure you file one side and you don't stay on that one side for too long. Um, now I'm going to go with my buffer block. You can find this on Amazon, but it will be linked down in the description box below. I am going to buff out these nails. Just basically just remove all the scratches because when you go on, you know, with any nail art or anything like that. I mean, I'm not doing any nail art, but I'm going to add some pixie crystals and stuff. Um, the scratches are going to see through, like, you're going to see the scratches through, like, the top coat or anything like that. So just make sure you always want a smooth surface. Now I'm going to be using my gem gel from Not Polish to apply my pixie crystals and I used to use the Zule bling adhesive for my pixie crystals but they will always fall off just because the Zule bling adhesive is more on the liquidy side so you need something thick so that you can you know press the pixie crystals into you know the gel or whatever so I do prefer using a gel. Um, I'm most likely going to purchase the IBD hard gel and I did not know that shit was that expensive but hey I'm going to try to purchase that and try that out see how I like it. Right here I'm just going to add some Chanel charms, line up the fingers to make sure that they're both even and then I'm going to go in with um, two Chanel stickers, one on the index, one on the ring finger and that's pretty much it for the set you guys. I'm going to go with my glossy top coat by Not Polished. You guys see how that hand looks purple. Like the name of the acrylic, it's white to pink. It doesn't really show up pink. It's more like a purplish, bluish color, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead, finish adding my stickers, top coat, and add my cuticle oil. And that is it, you guys. Okay, I'm so sorry. I lied. Thou shall not lie. I'm so sorry. I just told a lie. I am not using my not polished glossy. I'm using my Beatles um, gel top coat and you can also find this on Amazon. Sorry for that. Always remember to wipe the sides of your nails because the gel polish can spread and ruin the shape of your nails and you don't want to, you know, take your client's nails out the dryer and the shape is like all thrown off just because the gel polish spread. So just make sure you, um, just wipe the sides off. It's going to literally do a lot of justice, you guys, because it's happened to me so many times where I forget to wipe the sides and I go in the lamp with a coffin shape and come out with a square light easiest way to piss me off. oil today you guys i'm going to be using a cuticle oil by madam glam this cuticle oil has become my top favorite cuticle oil it's not too like thick like it's just 
I really really do love this cuticle oil but this is the end of this video you guys this is all I have for you today um it's, it was a pretty basic set but as you can see from the end results it's very very beautiful simple it's giving elegant classy it's just not too much going on it's you know simple and nice um don't forget to like comment and subscribe um please if you have not done so already hit that subscribe button it will really help me out a lot also give this video a big thumbs up i will see you in my next video you guys